So how does solar power work? How does this free energy from the sun power our homes? When the sun comes up and hits your solar panels, they turn sunlight into DC energy. This type of energy can't be used in your home, so your solar inverter changes it into AC electricity, like the type your appliances use. From here, it flows into your switchboard, where it's redirected throughout your home through your existing electrical wiring. The panels work during daylight hours, even if it's cloudy or overcast. Any excess power you don't use gets sold back to the grid. And the good news is that you'll get a credit on your power bill every month for this. Because power costs more to buy from the grid than you can sell your excess for, lots of people choose to install a battery. If you do choose to add a battery to your system, you can store this excess energy produced during the day to use at night, or in a power cart. In a power cart, you don't want to have your battery backing up your entire home, just the things you really need, like a few lights and a couple of power points. And if you still produce more energy than you can use or store in your battery, then this energy also gets sold back to the grid. And to keep track of all this electricity coming in and going out, we change your meter to an import-export meter. When the sun goes down, your panels don't produce energy, but you can use what's stored in your battery. And if you need to top up, then electricity will still flow in from the grid. And you can rest easy, knowing that when the sun comes up tomorrow, you'll be powering your home with free energy from the sun all over again. Let's go on a solar consultation journey. When you come into a solar consultation with Lightforce, we would have already built a model of your home in our sophisticated modeling software, Aurora Solar Analysis. This gives us the chance to design a system suitable for your roof by looking at the sun path over your roof over the course of the year. Summer through winter, when the sun's lower in the sky, and importantly, it takes account of shading influences around your property, like these trees that you see here. We're also going to have a look at factors on the roof, such as this chimney. And we can already see that this chimney might be shading some of these panels along here. This system has 15 panels a 5.7 kilowatt system. And that's going to be producing over 7,000 units of energy. Now this customer might want to put a battery on their home and they're using a little bit more energy than that throughout the year. In this case, we're going to see where we can put additional panels on their roof. We'll simulate the performance of those additional three panels and check to see whether we've got enough energy production throughout the year. Here we're going to be producing 8,742 units, which is great, enough for a battery system. Last off, we'll check the irradiance map to ensure that we've got enough solar irradiance on all of the panels being produced. And we can see that these panels around the chimney are going to be experiencing shading. So we need to put some clever technology on there to avoid the shading issues. We'll take care to ensure that all of these factors are accounted for in your solar analysis. And that's what we'll cover in your solar consultation. It's really important that we understand your power bill before the consultation so that we can design the right solution for your home. We look forward to seeing you in your solar consultation. How awesome is that? And it's even more exciting when it's on your own roof. At Lightforce, we get some commonly asked questions and I'm gonna take you through the top six today. Are there government subsidies? There are no government subsidies in New Zealand and we don't think there will be anytime soon but we've now reached a point where the solar systems pay for themselves in under 10 years without any government subsidies. What happens when it's cloudy or in winter? On a cloudy day, the system will still output 40 to 70% of what it will on a sunny day. In the winter, the output is reduced because the sun is lower in the sky. 
But all of these things are taken into consideration when we're designing the system. So we look at NIWA data that goes back 10 years and looks at the sunshine hours in your area. How do you sell your solar energy back to the grid? That's easy. After your install, we swap your meter to an import-export meter. And this measures the power in both directions, so we can see what comes in and what goes out. Solar export credits range from 8 to 12 cents, depending on what power company you're with and where you are in the country. How long does my solar system last? My solar panels have a performance warranty of 25 years. And at 25 years, the system output will still be around 85%. Solar battery warranties can range from 10 to 15 years. And at the end of that warranty, the battery still has an output of 70 to 90%. What is the maintenance needed for a typical solar system? The maintenance on a solar system is very low. But to keep it running at optimum performance, we recommend a soft brush and some water just to clean the panels once a year. Generally, a window cleaner will take care of this for you. How long will it take to install my solar system? Depending on the size of the system, it generally takes one to two days to install. If it's a really big system, it might take two to three days. Our fully in-house team will take care of you every step of the way. This is from solar consultant, installers, engineers, schedulers, even on to customer service. We've got branches from Kerry Kerry to Cromwell, so we can look after you no matter where you are in the country. We would love to be on the journey with you of creating a lighter, brighter future for New Zealand.